Okay, welcome back to this episode, part two. So we're now at the CNC, the 3040. I've got the um, three millimeter bit chucked up, uh, the single flute. We've used this in other videos. It's great for cutting plastic. I've got about a 2.7 piece of acrylic uh, clamped down to the board. I've got the machine zeroed and home, so everything is ready to go. So basically what we just need to do is uh, send the G-code and cut it out and see how it comes out. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so welcome back. So we've cut out both those pieces as you've seen in the time lapse and they've actually come out pretty good. So um, one of the things I wanted to do is show it in reference to the, the original piece and again pretty much bang on. It's a little bit bigger but one of the things if you notice from the last episode I cut on the outside rather than on or on the inside because I wanted it to be a little bit larger and you notice I've cut on the inside here to give myself a little bit smaller hole. I've done that intentionally because if I need to clean this up, I can clean it up with a drill or something and I've got the extra material. So again, this has come out perfect. And, and the, the crazy piece about this is really how quick you can do this. So, uh, you know, again, going from actually this pr product, this piece to this product is so quick. I mean, all you have to do is trace it, scan it, run it through Inkscape, put it in your CAM program, and boom, you're cutting it. Literally, I could have done this in about 15 minutes if it, if it wasn't for making the video. Making the video, yeah, I've had about two hours invested by the time I do all the video setup and everything, but um, all in all, this really came out good. So I, I'm really pleased with how this works, and hopefully you learned a couple new tips. Because in this episode, unlike the other Inkscape episode, um, I, I didn't redraw this, in other words, and you know, and the other one I used it as a template. This I took it straight up. Now, there isn't huge tolerances here, so I can be off a little bit, and that's actually okay. Um, you know, if I wanted to huge tolerances, I probably would redraw this. Uh, although I could actually get better if I wanted to go online. But one of the other tips I do want to share with you, and I think I talked about it in the other Inkscape video, is especially with the single flute, I, I do one extra pass into the spoil board. So I get down onto the edge so the, the cutter bit is actually coming down a little bit further. And this, this edge, I don't have, this is not flame finished at all. I mean, it's just a beautiful edge. And, um, uh, I don't have any of the aberrations really of the uh, uh, original design because you notice I cleaned up a little bit remember in the first episode and again this came out really great so hopefully this helped you this give you gave you some tips and tricks uh, to use in your own projects I gotta clean this up a little bit more so get some of the glue from the uh, um, protective paper on it but anyways this came out great so hopefully you found this of value if you did hey give it a big thumbs up because uh, subscribe buttons coming up over there uh, shortly so please subscribe swag shop up there and hit me up comments below we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects